traditional data centers may become outdated by 2025. The report by Analytics Week published in the last year found by 2020, every person in the world will create 1.7 megabytes of new data each second, and this will result in the creation of data over 44 zettabytes. Google found, on an average, over 40,000 searches were conducted each second, indicating growth in data. Many institutions want to migrate to more efficient systems where some want to buy new servers or migrate a portion of their systems to a new facility. One can get the infrastructure as a service or leased hardware to ensure a safe transition. There are many advantages of the non-traditional systems, the regular server performance declines 14% each year and implementation of the newer systems can reduce energy, cooling costs, licensing costs and maintenance needs. If the organizations decide to take a cloud initiative, it should make a well-planned strategy where the financial and performance rewards can be achieved only in conditions when the selection of provider, the cost and other aspects are supportive. The process requires new hardware, memory, network, storage space and the DRS or the third-party services, which is mostly attached to the post-migration process. A Gartner's infrastructure team report states that traditional data centers may be replaced by the newer cloud-based systems in the coming years. It found the initial wave of implementation of migration coming to an end, where the low critical applications had been shifted to public cloud vendors. Today at least 10% of the companies have moved their traditional data centers to it but many such firms have low knowledge and skill set to get a smooth transition to the newer systems. The role of on-premises servers, even with the presence of cloud, on-premises servers are still very important for the businesses because they lack proper support at the enterprise level to manage the applications on the cloud. Many such enterprises do not have compatible systems and in some areas, the businesses are incapable to gain access to the services due to their remote locations, where the networking services are not available. Furthermore, some business operations face regulatory constraints as they are not allowed to store data from overseas locally. The on-premises systems have a relevant role in 70% of the Fortune 500 companies that are still working on the mainframe. Servers and mainframes are basics to the functioning of some of the leading organizations. They require high-speed transition but are unable to find an alternative solution which can meet their speed requirements. They require a system which can be implemented in a cost-effective manner, while the systems should be able to manage high volumes. For more information contact Mont Digital on www.montdigital.com or email info montdigital.com.